Well, the last of the tomatoes are ripening off. So, I need to, oops, pick those, preserve them, freeze them, eat them, and I won't expect any more. And today we're just going to plant up some window boxes to give us some colour at the front of the house when um, the darker days of winter are here, whilst the darker days of winter are here. So I'll get on, pick the tomatoes, and then we'll do the window boxes. Well, I've harvest, harvested what would be probably the last of our tomatoes. I must um, apologise for any um, delays in posting a video, but I've had some um, really bad health problems late summer, early autumn. Um, so the gardens and the greenhouses are not in a very good state at all. So to catch up, we're going to do our window boxes. So it's the, what is it, Oscar the 6th of November. So actually still to be harvesting the last tomatoes is pretty good going. Um, Oscar is going to empty these for us today and we're going to plant them with um, cyclamen and what else have we got Oscar? Ivy to make them look pretty for the front window. The first thing I do is just work out roughly <coughs> excuse me, where I want everything. And then, oops, I plant up after. So I'm just gonna slip some ivy in the front there. Now, I'm doing it this way around to show people, but face it you and face it up so it looks nice, okay? So once you're happy with everywhere you've got stuff, you can start planting. Now, whoops, I'm going to add soil as I go along. And these beautiful cyclamen will require some water, we'll have to water them in. And because although they're on a windowsill, obviously, um, <coughs> well, of course, I've got my tomato now, um, obviously, they are shaded from by the window frame from water so you will have to make sure they get some water so this is um helix silver so variegated ivy again grown in sussex I don't know if you can see that our local garden center right so face them up Get them in a nice position. And then add the soil and the gaps. Firm down, make sure there's no air pockets. Leave enough space for water in, otherwise the water you do give it will just run off the soil and won't help the plants at all. Make sure you're getting right in between the plants. I know ivy and cyclamen is a pretty classic combination, but it's for a reason because I think it's lovely and there's so many purples and pinks of the cyclamens you can choose from you've got quite a variety of colourways so when you're sure you've got no air pockets you can take that there we go to the window seal, give it a good watering in and then we can show you.
Uh, well, hello, it's Farmer Farmer here. Uh, last time, a bit of a while ago, I had I had a go uh, doing horses and cows. Anyway, I thought this time I'd do birds. So I got a few slides here because I think I know a lot about birds. Anyway, uh, most of them, most of the time, are fairly plain and they have two legs. Except they don't always. Uh, some that are like this, they got less legs, and occasionally you get them with more legs. See, you got a four-legged bird there. Anyway, I don't want to run after that one. That's too 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 quick. That is. Anyway, uh, they, they they don't only come in black uh, or white. They come in multicolors like this uh, and and this. And then occasionally, what they do is they have a go at painting themselves. And this is what happens. Anyway, sometimes. Anyway. Most birds, they spend a long time looking after themselves, and then there's the other posh ones, you see, and they look like this. And then, and occasionally they're not, they're not so good. And then finally, they're very good at putting on a firework display at night time, especially around bonfires at night. And then this is what happens. Well, that's all I know about birds, so I think 